Hi Leo, how are you? I hope you're well, I'm okay, thank you, and I hope to see you tonight in the life as I'm giving away free cards as usual, Monday, Wednesday and Friday, and I do answer questions that are supported with a super chat or a super sticker, and um, I hope to see you there because it's great fun in the tea room. And this is your reading for the 8th to the 14th of June. Now, I've told you last week, and in the I think in the romance readings, that I'm going to start off with the most liked video. And uh, Gemini was the one, and then it was Capricorn, and then it was uh, Libra. And Virgo and Sagittarius are... Um, the more Sagittarius and more Virgos are coming in and liking the videos as well. I love your reaction and your appreciation with your thumbs up. Thank you so much. I know I'm not doing it for nothing and that people are watching the videos. Awesome. And you might have heard that there is a competition going until the end of August and nobody is a loser as you will have... Uh, we are making a vision board and we'll ex be experiencing uh, the vision board and trying to manifest or visualize what we want and um, I will be going live to discuss it uh, at the end of June if so if you are joining in or if you're just doing a vision board yourself just for the fun then um, uh, if you have any issues or suggestions or questions, then you can uh, interact on the live session at the end of June. So that I'm giving you two weeks to make it and experience it. And if you uh, have any questions, I would love to hear from you. Uh, this is what you can win, the Shadowlands Tarot deck, a brand new one, that's the first person has the choice between this deck, but some people might have them already um, if you're living in the States, and um, then you can choose through uh, between that and the vice versa, and the second place will get the remaining uh, deck um, and the third place is a free reading for 20 minutes with me uh, through Skype or Messenger. And I'm also using the Mirror Truth deck. That's this one, the Lenamon. And then we've got the White Witches deck. And I'm using the meaning of the card because this is also the big, just the big arcana. And um, I, uh, it, uh, there are uh, signs in the tarot deck. Uh, the tarot deck cards represent si the zodiac signs and the angel feather. Now I'm doing my spread that I do when I have a reading, the nine card spread, because you can get so much information from just nine cards. But you know, I usually put them across, but now I'm taking this. Uh, this is my querent that I always take, but this you can also take as the theme card. And this is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday and Sunday. And um, this card I will uh, clarify with these three or and vice versa. This card with these three and vice versa. This one with these three, vice versa. This one with these three, vice versa. Okay, and then you'll get your um, uh, big arcana card and your angel feather card. So you have an angel that you can call upon if you need support from your angel. Okay, let's uh, thank you very much, Cyber Angels, for coming back and supporting uh, the channel with your thumbs up and uh, show me the appreciation. And this is what I'm trying to do something new to show you. I appreciate all of you and also new viewers. Uh, please subscribe, welcome to the channel and subscribe and click the bell on all, then you'll be notified if you don't do it on all, just on none or private, then you won't get notified. And please join us in the side the family in the tea room on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Oh, you can find more information below the video. Um, if you would like to have an extended reading or go to the website by clicking on on the white dot in the right hand corner, top right hand corner. Then it will open up and you can click again and it will take you to the website. We are beginning with the Ten of Cups. 
So endings to sad times or difficult times, happy, happy families, perhaps reuniting with family and friends, having parties. Wow. That is the 10, so that's an ending, a new beginning as it becomes a 1. Perhaps cancer might be quite significant, as there is a little crab in the corner. So, the cancer is also the king of cups. Okay, so there might be a king of cups around you, but don't exclude a Scorpio or Pisces, as this is the cups, and that is... but. I just see a cancer, so it could be a cancer that is significant for you. On Monday, you have the Page of Pentacles. So you might be receiving news about something that's durable and for long term. This could be a job, this could be a relationship with a Virgo, a Capricorn or a Taurus. It could be somebody that is younger. The page initially represents Capricorn, but don't exclude the other two. Then on Wednesday, we have the page of once. You've got page, page, page. <laughs> you can write a book. Sorry, that's a joke. And the page of once, that is really Sagittarius. So there might be a Sagittarius that is of importance to you. Okay, now I'm also getting something. Perhaps you uh, applied for a job or you went to see, uh, uh, sorry, you applied for a job, this one, uh, you applied for a job or you went to see a house that you wish to buy or you invested in something uh, around uh, last year uh, in uh, Sagittarian time, December, January, Capricorn time, because this is Capricorn and this is Sagittarius. Perhaps now you're seeing returns. Okay. Um, so this is the page of once he's bringing you news. Perhaps you might also meet um, a Sagittarius, but don't exclude uh, Aries or Leo, and could be a young, he's a younger person than yourself, that is sending you a message. And then on Friday we have temperance. You're trying to balance something or you are already in balance. Now, um, I let's have a look. Usually um, it's trying to keep you in balance, but I've got a feeling you are in balance because you're emotionally happy and you've got everything you want because the 10 is the ultimate happiness card for the cups, okay? We've also got the Six of Pentacles, and that is balance. Six is balance, so you uh, are balanced. So my feeling with this card is quite right. You are balanced, you are grounded, because you've got the red boots on, and you are uh, very active. There's a lot happening around you. So you will have to try to keep balance. Perhaps somebody from the past will come back and um, that's the Six of Cups, but um, somebody, uh, I've got a feeling, somebody like reunion with family and friends. Perhaps somebody is coming back and giving you a present, okay? That's usually the Six of Cups when somebody comes back from the past. A ghost is somebody from the past, um, and it, he's giving you presents, but it's usually the Six of Cups. Um, that comes is somebody from the past coming back giving you present but the moniker has also depicted that in this but somebody could also be giving you a helping hand or uh, uh, loan you some money or give you a gift or give you a listening ear so you know I'm, I'm just going to get another card out hold on I just want I'm just going to do this I just wanted to make it clear to you now, it is just goes to show that when you've done this for 45 years, you can still uh, doubt your own feelings. That is the message for me here. Down, don't doubt yourself. Have faith in yourself. And sometimes with other decks, I see more things like how uh, these de this deck is so intricately detailed. 
look at even the younger people the the younger people even the smallest you can't you can hardly see this boy but he's um exchanging love with this ghost okay and a ghost is something from the past for me okay and it's again ghost from the present a ghost from the past or a monster from the past you know, I think it's more ghosts somebody from the past ex your ex or it's the same as you black and white your shadow your shadow might be giving you more information like just now with me my shadow side or my subconscious that can be also be your shadow side because there's two sides to everybody has just said to me don't doubt yourself the ghost for me I have interpreted as somebody from the past because when somebody dies they become a ghost that's the story and they are from the past they're an other generation okay it could be yourself from another life so somebody from the past could come back that's why I interpreted it this way and I was doubting myself because he was giving you presents and what happens in the traditional deck because this is the six of pentacles and this is also the six of pentacles it is somebody that's well off that is giving to the less fortunate so if you are fortunate you will be giving to the less fortunate you will give be giving them a helping hand or a listening ear or a gift of money it could also be reversed in this case you could be less fortunate and you could be receiving something from somebody else a helping hand a listen or a listening ear or a gift something is exchanging do you see and this is the six of pentacles and that means somebody is coming back from the past and giving you something so that is where I got the meaning for this card from I was actually putting the six of pentacles and the six of cups together so that's why I say something in some cards I see more I interpret things differently everybody every reader does nothing is wrong but that could be happening at the weekend as that is the weekend card now we're going to this corner and that is you Leo you have the Sun okay and the Sun is representing Leo you've got 31 so something um, is starting with a number four number four is proper foundations so it could be a birth of a child or a project you might be moving home you might be going on holiday you might be taking your a relationship up to the next level you might be getting married uh, you might be going to live together you might have bought a house together or you might have had a promotion or you might have gone on to an, a, a job that gave you a higher position you've got the ace of pentacles so that means you might be it's the ace of diamonds you might be meeting a Capricorn a school uh, Capricorn uh, Taurus or a Virgo okay that's the ace of diamonds so something for long term with durability is here now okay and it will be stable it will be built on proper foundations the Sun is a beautiful card if you're too mature to uh, uh, to uh, it's also a fertile time but if you find out you, you could be finding out you're pregnant but if you're too mature you might become an aunt a granny or a niece or a cousin or whatever okay a godmother that's what I'm hearing boom just all of a sudden now here you've got the news so you might be finding out again confirmation that you are uh, you might find out that you are becoming a, a, a godmother a grandmother or a mother that is for long term because a child is for long term and you can touch it it's durable okay beautiful if that is what you wish but happy beautiful families your emotions are the your cup is overflowing that is what I'm seeing like overflowing okay 
and it could be a Cancer. Here we are, we've got the Cancer, or it might be a Leo. Okay. Ooh, this is, this is creepy. Even I find it creepy. So you might find out that you're pregnant, and it could be a, a water sign. So it could be, let's have a look, uh, that would be a Pisces. That would be born in March. And the pentacle, that would be, yeah, that would be pretty early. You might not have known, but it could be January, Capricorn. Okay, so that is, if you're just pregnant for a month, it could be a Capricorn or two months. You might not have found out in uh, April, end of April. Okay, but definitely um, beautiful. Uh, you might get a gift, like I said. You might get a gift from somebody that is um, well off or better, more fortunate than you. Uh, or it just could be a gift saying congratulations and celebrations because the sun is celebrations and a, renew, a reunion with family and friends to celebrate that you're pregnant. That could be as simple as that. Now you've got your boat, the boat, the ship. You might be traveling across water. You might be going on a holiday with a ship. Okay. Your boat of abundance is coming in. That could be also a, a form of a wish or a goal. Like if you wanted to get pregnant, you're going to get pregnant. If you want love, you will get love. Your abundance, this could be anything from money to love to pregnancy, from a pay rise could be anything abundance more clientele if you or clients if you have a business you you're doing well ending to difficulties as you have the ten of swords but on the other hand the negative side the ten of swords somebody might have stabbed you in the back but I say it with this card it's the end of difficulties better beginnings you have been creative, number three. Now, your creativity or your your uh, abundance of that is coming in. You're getting news. You are. You have to take action. This action and this investment is paying off big time. You've got ten ten. Okay, so the angels have your back awesome again this is the the ace of diamonds confirmation of that financially your time is coming now okay cancer but uh, no sorry leo i have to get used to this new system and i have to be very careful that i don't get you confused because i all always did it in a different routine i have to get used to this routine so i'm sorry but you've got an exceptional reading. All the readings are exceptional in their own way. Now the card that you have, you might have had arguments and or disagreements, but after rain, sunshine is here. The sunshine is coming in. And you've got the king of clover, the king of wands. And it like a action behind you. You've maintained balance. 10 is also balanced. You're going into a better period. The king of wands takes action. He knows what he wants. He is also in balance because you've got a 6 here. Awesome. Now you've got 6, 6 in the same row. So the angels is again confirming that they are with you. Okay. Beautiful. Now, let's have a look. So this argument is short-lived and it's lying underneath the six of pentacles so perhaps somebody is coming back from the past because the ghost is the past he's coming to say sorry and he's giving you a peace offering and this is how you can see more things in cards anyway this is the way I read them so beautiful happy times there will be happiness after a quarrel you will find the, or they will find the balance back as well within you okay because you're happy you're delighted you're the beacon you are the light 
look at these flames behind you you're so positive and you're so great that people feel attracted to you they want to party with you woohoo yeah you hold the key look at that you've got the key and that is the eight of diamonds the eight of diamonds your perseverance your hard work is paying off the angels three three so be aware of three three six six okay those are your numbers this week okay and uh, let me have a look there was something else uh, no there wasn't I thought I did see something else but you hold the key to positivity and to get things done Wow abundance is coming your way big time okay yeah, you could be also a love letter something that is being you can see the key through the keyhole so something is being locked up so s there might be a secret coming out the key is that you hold the key you might be holding a secret and you might not even know it but let's say you might be the key to an issue or a situation that will be resolved so perhaps a financial situation because there's a lot of abundance coming in okay it could be a new house you could be holding the key of a new house you will get news you have abundance financially and emotionally okay bad times difficult times are over now let's have a look you've got judgment so you might need a uh, uh, no justice is justice uh, is Libra and I'm not with the program I think today okay I don't think look where's God you've got judgment so judgment is a new beginning again confirmation of a new beginning and I feel judgment hasn't really got a zodiac sign attached to him but I don't know but I feel it's a Libra I got a Libra in mind Libra is usually justice but justice is also you're being judged in the courts of justice so that is how I twig things together so um, a Libra might be significant for you and I'm also getting an other message although I'm seeing the card upside down because I'm sitting here and you're sitting there um, but on the, the screen I can see five balloons okay um, and I don't know um, this is how my mind works and my intuitiveness and my sight you will see something although these cards show the black and uh, the shadow side and also the light side uh, not so much in this uh, this card but this is one of my favorite cards many hands many heads there will be many heads um, there's there's there is an, a, 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 a long message here um, there's uh, too many chiefs not enough Indians that's what I'm hearing that is one many he uh, many uh, if you two heads is better than one but five heads could be better than one so you might be thinking with a group of people to do something or to get like here we've got gatherings um, emotional get-togethers reunions so that might be a, a new idea in within the family there might be a new idea to set a family tradition I don't know I don't know it, it might mean something to somebody but this this is how it works sometimes I don't know I don't know what I'm saying what well, doesn't mean anything to me but that is what it should be to a reader it shouldn't really mean anything because we read from within and with the cards so you know 
that is me. I read what comes out. What I see, what I hear, what I smell. And we've got the innate creative talents. So you might the, be the instigator to new ideas. Yeah? Uh, because judgment is a new start, but also a second chance. Perhaps there was somebody that you did have an argument with and you weren't speaking to them. Okay? And um, that's why you might have come up with an idea. Let's get together and re reunite and be happy. And finally they have said yes, because in the past they wouldn't want to get back involved with the family. I think you've talked to a lot of the people in the family. There might be ten people and you've talked to five. So you're bringing sides together. So your innate creative talents are called upon. The angels are here to reinforce to you that you have natural creative talents and skills which need to be unleashed for further development. So use your talents and you have the crimson angel feather and red is Archangel Uriel because Archangel Uriel represents in the angelic uh, chakra uh, um, cycle uh, the root chakra and what does the root chakra mean to you? You've planted the roots, you're steady, you're balanced so it could be also a Sagittarius in the family um, that is brought in balance in the family uh, Leo okay it could be the King of Wands the King of Wands that is Aries okay that and a Leo a Leo a Sagittarius or an Aries wow it is the fire signs that are really prominent here crazy so you've also got um, um, Archangel Jovial, the angel of joy, okay? Also the angel of creative powers, because he, he, he's creative to bring joy and, and love to the solar plex, the yellow chakra. And we've got yellow in the cards, also letters, um, I didn't even resonate to me at the beginning, and the sun and if you sit in the sun you will be enhanced that yellow uh, color the color of joy and get grounded the crimson color okay and Archangel Sandalfon is also with you and he's the Archangel of music and music always calms the beast so music brings joy so you've got Archangel Jovial and Sandalfon, okay, and Uriel, and you've got a lot of yellow and red in your reading, fire. So I hope you've enjoyed this reading, Leo. Take care, and give us the thumbs up and share with family and friends, and I hope to see you in the life. I go live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So have a beautiful weekend.